In this video, I'm gonna show you how to use Divi with a different theme. Yes, it can be done. All right, so let me show you what I mean here. So over here, when you take a look at our website, we notice that uh, we just pretty much have the default WordPress install. So this is the theme that comes with WordPress when you install WordPress for the first time. So let's say you want to have the, uh, the Divi Builder work alongside a totally different theme. So what you wanna do is to come over here to Elegant Themes. Of course, you have to buy the Divi subscription or license. So when you log into your members area, you'll notice here that you have two options. You have the Divi theme. So the Divi theme actually comes with the builder and also the theme itself. So this is how you get to customize the header and the footer. But if you have a separate uh, theme that you have like Astra or Bloxy, I mean, there's several out there that you, that, can, that you can use. You can use those themes for the headers and the footers and then use the builder for the bulk of the body of your website. So this is what we're trying to achieve. So the reason why I'm mentioning this is because there could be quite a few of you out there that prefer a certain uh, a certain theme, but you also like to use Divi's builder capability. So this is where you can use this. So I know all the videos pretty much, or 99% of the videos, we only talk about Divi theme, which is the theme itself plus the builder. But now I'm gonna talk about a different theme you can use with a builder within your favorite theme. All right, so over here, you wanna click on download. So notice that here you need to download the builder plugin. So this is the DV theme. This is the builder plugin, right? So you want to download that and then you go to your website, click on your dashboard. So this needs to be installed as a plugin. It's very, very important. It needs to go in as a plugin. So to add it, you just want to come over here to plugins and then click on add new. And then I'm going to click upload. So I've already gone ahead and downloaded the plugin. So I'm going to come over here and let me go to my downloads folder. And here it is, DV builder install now. And by the way, if you're brand new to web design, if you wanna learn how to design professional looking websites with Divi, if you download Divi using my affiliate link, I will give you access to my web design formula course. All you have to do is drop me an email just to let me know that you've bought it and I will give you access to the course. The course pretty much covers everything that you need to know from beginner to advanced web designer. So that's what the, uh, the course is about. It costs about 495, but you can get it absolutely free if you buy Divi using my affiliate link. All right, so back over here, we can see that my plugin has been installed. This is looking great. I'm just gonna click here on activate the plugin. So as you can see, you still get the entry over here, which says Divi, which is a bit confusing if you uh, use the Divi Builder already. And you also get the extra features here. You can see you have the Divi library, so you can go in and add your library over here. So you still have all the features and I'll show you in a moment. So now that we've added this, if we take a look here at our themes, you'll notice that we still have our normal theme, which is the one that came with WordPress. So let's open a new tab now and see what this page looks like. So as you can see, we have all these uh, links on the top here. Now this is being pulled from our theme builder here. So if I come over here to theme builder, you notice that we have a global header here. So the global header actually works on, you know, themes, but of course this is not the way you want to use this. So I'm going to delete that save changes. Now, if I go back to my theme here and refresh, you'll notice that this is going to disappear. So I'm going to refresh this. And now we have the normal he WordPress header. All right, so back over here now, let's say you want to use a totally different theme. You don't want to use the one that comes with WordPress. I'm going to come over here to themes. So the theme that I really, really like outside the DV theme is Astra. So over here, I'm just going to search. I'm just going to click on add new and I am going to search for Astra. And there we go. So this is our Astra theme. So I'm gonna click here on install. So the reason why I like Astra, uh, the Astra theme is uh, it has quite a lot of flexibility in terms of uh, customizing it, especially if you switch and uh, buy the Astra Pro. So it has a lot of features where you can customize your header and footer and all that good stuff. All right, so now that I have this all set, you can go into customize and let me just show you quickly how you can customize this. So as you can see here, we have these pencil icons. So we don't wanna use it for the body. We just probably want to use this for the header. So you can go in here and you can customize this. You can disable the menu. Uh, you can uh, add a search button there. So you can see now I've just added a search. You can also do quite a lot of things. You can set your uh, menu breakpoint. So you can actually set it up here. 
You can add your menu label and you can do quite a lot. So in fact, you know what? I'll revisit Astro theme and show you what else you can do with this theme. Anyway, so I'm gonna hit publish now because I want this theme to be my main theme. Right, so now that I've hit publish, if I come over here now and refresh this, you're going to notice that we're going to have a totally different design. And there we go. Now we have a totally different design here. And uh, we don't have the footer yet, but the footer can be designed over here in the Astro theme. So right now we're in the primary menu and you can also do a transparency header here. You can also do a primary header and so on. So this, as you can see, is the header area. If I go back over here, we can also customize the blog. And uh, we can also customize the footer here. So you can see we have the footer bar, the footer widgets, and so on. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is to go in and set up a page. So I'm gonna come over here now, and let's go to our home page. In fact, this is our home page. I'm gonna go into Enable Visual Builder. Now, here's something that's very important. As you can see, I'm gonna hit Start Building. As you can see here, this is by default, not giving us the full width. So let's just go and click on start building. So you can see our builder here is stuck onto this uh, left side. So that ideally that's not what we want. So all those settings can be done over here. So I'm gonna come over here and uh, the option that I'm looking for here is global container. So this is your main container. So right now it's set to content boxed. So you want to click here and say full width stretched or you can use full width contained. Page layout, you want to come over here and say full width, I think it's contained, and then blog post layout, and then your default archives, you wanna do the same. In fact, let's add contained here and see what that looks like. Okay, so now that I have all that set, I'm gonna hit publish. Now let's take a look here now, now and see if this has made a change. Right, so we need to get rid of the sidebar. So I'm gonna go back over here, click on sidebar. So the default layout here, you can see it's set to right sidebar. So you wanna get rid of that by saying no sidebar. And then on the pages here, you wanna also wanna say no sidebar. So pretty much we want to have a full width column. So I'm gonna hit publish here. Now this should fix our issue here with our plugin. Now, by the way, you need to do this only once. And then once you've done that, uh, let's try and refresh this now and see if this is going to work. And surely this is going to work now. Okay, so now I can go in. You can see my sidebar has disappeared. So I can go in now and add my content. So let's say I wanna add a blurb. You can see there it has been added. So you can start building it that way. So over here, you can see we have this home uh, title. Let's exit the, the visual builder here and I can show you where you can get rid of that. But of course, every theme is gonna come with its own settings. But the idea here is just to show you that you can have your own theme and use the DV builder alongside it. So anyway, let's just go in quickly and let me show you how to get rid of the page title. So I'm just gonna close that. So over here, Astra also comes with its own like sort of like a side panel settings. So I can come over here and I can also go in and make some specific adjustments. So as you can see here, I can disable the title just by clicking here. And I can also disable the footer, also the primary header. So I'm just gonna hit update and then we're gonna go back to our builder and see uh, if that has made a change. So I'm just gonna open this in a new tab. So now you can see that my header is now gone. So let me just do something quickly here. I'm gonna go back into my Divi Builder and just add a, um, a pre-made layout. So now I'm just gonna go in and choose any one of these. I'm gonna click on use this layout. Okay, so you can see here my layout has been loaded. And the reason why it's in a container is because we set it that way. So if you wanted to go all the way you can always go back over here to your theme settings, go to customize, and then you can just make it, you know, go pretty much all the way. So here are the global settings again, the container, and here you wanna say stretched, stretched. So you can say stretch to all of these, and then this will uh, act as a normal DV builder. So I'm just gonna hit publish here, and then we're going to see that this is pretty much going to work as the theme builder. So finally, if we take a look here, and uh, in fact, let's save this and exit the visual builder so you can see the final design. 
So if I hit exit, you can see now this is actually working as the builder itself. So what we've achieved now is we've added we've added a normal theme or an, a theme from a separate company and this is working in conjunction with Divi Builder. So this is how you can use the Divi plugin alongside with a separate theme. All right, guys, let me know what you think. And uh, if you do use this option, uh, please let me know in the comments box below. I'll be uh, really interested to see why you'd have chosen to use it that way. All right, guys, that's all I have for you in today's video. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.